Hello everyone and welcome to what I call a year of reflection. There doesn't need to be an extravagant entrance or introduction because we've all been here. 2020 has been hard. For a lot of us it's been a financial crisis and a constant mental battle. Regardless of who you are though, I'm glad you've made it here. I'm glad you're watching and I consider it an achievement. You survived 2020 and I'm proud of you. The beginning of this year was a challenge starting to get into new habits and breaking out of old. We joked, we questioned, and we thought it wouldn't last this long. For some of us, getting out of bed every day was a struggle, but after months of this, we've become accustomed in a way. I don't want to ignore the harsh reality that has befallen many people during this year, and I also don't want to ignore the amazing people who have gotten me through these dark days. So without further ado, I invite you to join me as this year comes to a close. And let's reflect on the year we've had on this channel. For starters, a ton of shoutouts are in order. Above all, I have to give a shoutout to Cody. You have been by my side this year in the flesh so much. You've gone above and beyond for me this year, and I love you all the more for it. Thank you for being so loving, caring, goofy, and kind. I swear no matter how bad things get, you always find the good in situations and people, and that, to me, is a superpower. Next on my list means the world to me. I've never felt more free, accepted, and welcomed than my family and digital enigmas. What a crazy roller coaster we've had. Yeah, we've overcome a lot, huh? And I think we're better because of it. So this goes out to all of you enigmas, and you know who you are. From the countless knights and besties listening to the wickedest of willows read the wonky donkey, to Goob giving us late night private streams, to Chef reading memes off his phone just to hear us laugh, to John who has been a ray of sunshine in everyone's lives, and to Dread who never failed to entertain and humor us. I have loved every minute of it. And don't let me forget the prettiest Penny, blessing us with her singing voice, and Ben, who we love and hope will discord with us one day. And last, but not least, Mayu, who comes into voice chats calling me out on my shit and being an overall awesome individual. Willow, you've got to be one of the most beautiful women I have ever met. You've taught me so much not only about myself, but about life. You've opened doors that I thought could not be opened. You've created safe spaces and worlds at your fingertips. You've listened to me vent, cry, laugh, and yell. And throughout all of that, you never judged me. I'm grateful for every day I get to consider you family. Goob, you are the cutest, kindest, and most genuine person I know. You truly have a heart of gold, and if there is one memory I can take with me into 2021, it's got to be your laugh. I've never seen anyone with the power you hold to instantly change the mood of a room with your laugh. I love you so much, you goofy goober. Chef, oh my, where to begin? You are truly my best friend. God, we've gotten into so much shit this year. Funny shit, that is. From calling each other out on our shit to teaching me how to cook. I could write a book about all the amazing things we've done. You make gaming a new experience, and you're such an amazing person. So thank you for making 2020 kick-ass awesome. John, someday we've got to do Dungeons & Dragons. You are a hilarious individual with a huge heart. I wish you could see how much all of us love you. You don't have to be in voice chats all the time or talk in Discord all the time for us to know how amazing you are. We see you, we love everything you say, and we're here for you, always and forever. If there was anyone in Digital Enigmas I wish I could hug through the screen, it would be you. Ah, Dread. I... who is Dread again? Oh, wait. Only the best pyramid head main on Dead by Daylight. Pushing your buttons has been one of the funnest things to do this year, and I know we said we wouldn't be all sappy, but I'm gonna be sappy. You were there for me, and I won't go into detail, but you know what I'm talking about. You made me feel comfortable enough to confront one of my demons. That alone cannot be thanked enough. I wish there were enough words in the English dictionary to describe how grateful I am for that. 
You taught me a valuable lesson that day, not only about the importance of leaning on your friends, but the truth that you don't have to face your demons alone. Thank you for that. Penny? Actually, scratch that. Wifey. You've checked in on me countless times this year, and you too have taught me a valuable lesson. A lesson about strength. The truth is, you are the strongest woman I know. I don't know anyone who's gone through more shit this year than you, and you know what? You kept your head held high through all of it. Nothing, and I mean nothing, can knock you down. You've gotten up every single time. You're a beautiful soul, and a beautiful person, and I love you and Ben. Also, thanks for all the sabotage hook saves. You're actually a goddess. Mayu, let's be honest. We both give each other shit. I love it. You're a badass. End of story. You've got perseverance like no other, and you've got a thick skin. Nobody can tell you otherwise, and nothing gets the better of you. All this strength and badassery, and guess what? You still look good doing it. Thank you for being so wonderful. To each and every one of you, thank you. You've all made 2020 the shithole more bearable. But now that we got through all of that, I asked you to tell me your favorite moments from this year. Willow got back to me and said her favorite part of this year was meeting me. Well, the same goes to you, babes. The same goes to you. Thank you again to everyone. I love you and let's kick ass in 2021. 2020 sure is one flower looking fuck. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Do you know what was end up in as a golden? You got this, Goop! Goopy, go, go in, in and throw the crucifix down. Oh, you'll be fine. Go in and throw the crucifix down. <laughs> <laughs> Goob, you made it that far. You made it that far, bud. You'll be fine. Just, Just go, 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 check, room, you'll be go safe. check the writing in the book. Go on, Goob, you got this. Throw the crucifix down. Come on, Goob. What are you doing? Goob, doing? Goob throw the crucifix down. Oh, why am I doing this? Go in the room. <laughs> You can do it, Goob. You can do it. You can do it, bud. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> I know he couldn't be in the room across the hall from me, eh? <laughs> no. Don't want to tag. You want to tag? You'd be alone. Goob, you could have already been on your way back. I to do this alone. <laughs> Chef thought it would be a great idea, and I agree. I mean, I did offer to take your spot, but so I got told no, so... Your own at this point. Goob, you gotta go in the room and drop the crucifix. What's the fucking fucker's name? Um, William Taylor. William Taylor. William Taylor, can you give us a sign? <laughs> From outside the door. <laughs> From outside the door. Now drop the crucifix. Drop it. Now, there you now go. it'll work. Now it'll work. All right. Now, now you can shouldn't, next. We shouldn't hunt you now for a little yeah. bit. Uh huh. So we'll I need you to try to get a spirit box response mm -hmm. or writing in the book. William Taylor, can you give us a sign? <laughs> he just spoke in the box. Oh. Okay, run out. Run. Get what out. Okay. What do you say? I don't know, but it was very muffled. But he spoke in the box. Okay. There, you're all done. Come on out. We are dealing with a gin. A gin. He said something like, fuck you, people. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Goobert. Oh, Jesus. I like, oh my, you know what? <laughs> no, you're all set now. You're safe. Here, we'll, we'll, said we're gonna walk in the dark, but for us, it's bright. No, we're gonna go. We're gonna go pick you up, Goob. So you're not. Yeah. 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 We'll go. We're, we're gonna, gonna meet you. you. You did a great job, Goob. Yeah. You're going the wrong way, you people. Oops. Oops. 
You, you people. people. You people. I think you just got through the door. No, Willow. No, I went the wrong way. I was going straight for the, for the reception. Hey, Goob, you're all safe now, okay? <laughs> Look at him. Hi, Goob. Hi, <laughs> Goob, come on. <laughs> He's like, I've seen some shit. <laughs> Goob, why, is, uh, why are your pants a little damp there? <laughs> Goop, can you go there by yourself? What the fuck? Why me? <laughs> well, you're gonna walk back with a big old fucking load in your pants. Mm. <laughs> Charles Smith, can you show do yourself? You like, do you like big fat cock? Oh, really? I'm sorry yeah. for whoever just joined in and heard me say that. <laughs> I just picked up a spoon. Whoever just joined in, I apologize. Worth it. Why are you picking up the spoon, dude? Well, apparently, you can pick up the spoons. Hello. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, she's in here for sure. I just heard her go, uh, in my ear. Um, that was Discord. <laughs> that was me! That was... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Discord, my friend. <laughs> she has lost her fucking mind. Elizabeth. 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 Elizabeth, can you give her a sign? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. <clears throat> Elizabeth. 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 Wow. Elizabeth. It'll go. <laughs> you are so done with your shit, Elizabeth. Come on. Elizabeth. <laughs> we have enough what? Shakespeare? What are you doing? No. I'm, I'm scared of watching you open doors. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Where are Bye. you going? Oh shit, Elizabeth. she's here. Ah! She's, she's right beside you, got her. She's right oh, there. There she right is. Here. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Okay. Alright, so it's me that she wants nothing to do with. Okay. It was ladies night That's out. That's a five. That is a five, yep. Alright, EMF five. Okay, so it was an EMF five. Stunned ya, bitch. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> what happened? The lovely glitter slut, aka Willow, and her rage of Discord. Enjoy. You know what, Discord? Fuck you. And not in the pleasurable fashion. I hope you get fucked by a goddamn exploding hentai monster that will literally spread your gore across the entire state of fucking Texas when it is done with you. I hope your children grow up to hate you and piss on your goddamn fucking grave only, <laughs> only to dig you back up, take your remains to a fucking glue factory, and turn you into that shit kids eat instead of making a fucking construction paper turkey, you heinous bitch of a fucking program. Thank you very much. Oh, the stone must die. Stone Cold Steve Austin? The stone must die so I may prosper. So don't kill Steve Austin. <laughs> well... Now another tree must be sacrificed so I may prosper. Yes. Holy shit, this is this fucking is good. Amazing. <laughs> nation. This is Hamilton. This is it. This is Hamilton! Wow! <laughs> Are you young, scrappy, and hungry? Just I'm like young, your scrappy country. and hungry. Just like this country. <laughs> what the fuck? I will chop down every tree that must be chopped. But I will spare the rest. <laughs> For nature is beautiful. Nature is serene. Wow. Nature is within a stonework bunch. <laughs> Look at oh, myself. Allie, I can't. I can't. <laughs> what the fuck? I love you. <laughs> oh, my fucking way. I love you. <laughs> I have made a market. Oh, I don't know who will I died. Run said market. Yeah, you you come back here to me, you bitch. 
Yeah, I'm still here, you flower-looking fuck. Oh my god. Yeah, that's right, fucker. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you. You say you hate my camping and you wanna DC. You'll be the one complaining when you see your BP. And sure, please bring an object. Cause you're my favorite object My sweet submissive object My loyal royal object Forever and ever And ever and ever and ever You'll be back Like before I will camp the hook and tongue no more for your love, for your furries. You flower looking fuck. And compare it to a ribeye and tell me which one tastes better. Who? You. You think I can make a, a, a Russell roast? Chuck roast? Yeah, that. <laughs> a Russell roast? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is a Russell roast? Cast iron now, so you can make whatever you but want. But I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to cook on it. You have to. Oh hey! Well, hey! What? 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 Ah! Ah! Uh, Jesus! <laughs> I was just gonna say, congratulations. You're rank one. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking hurt you. I'm gonna fucking. Don't <laughs> laugh like that. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny, Goob. Goob, it's is not that funny. Why, is that why I think it's a long Goob? Goob. <laughs>